Hi friends and welcome. This is Deborah here at Prairie Rose Cottage and Garden and I'm so thrilled that you stopped by today to see what's new. Today we have a lot to cover such as seeing a few thrifted items and how I styled them to some fall decorating. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, first up is this darling squirrel picture that was a great find at Goodwill for just $4.99. It's a good size, has very nice burlap matting, and also is signed by the artist. And after doing a bit of research, I found the exact one on eBay for $49.99. So I think that was a great score. What do you think? Next up is this well-loved and very old lantern that I found at a local thrift store for just two dollars i love it because it's at least a hundred years old and still has bits of the old original red paint showing through all the rusty patina it's just so cute okay friends now we're going to take a look at how i incorporated the two thrifted items that i just showed you into my fall decor in the living room here at the cottage you've all seen my french buffet and mirror many times in our other home in texas so here it is in the cottage and i just love it and especially how the two thrifted items played such an important role in curating this tableau on the buffet it just goes to show you that you can create a beautiful setting in your home with a few well-chosen thrifted items as well as a little help from our friends at the Dollar Tree, right? And no one would be the wiser. The fall banner was made using Dollar Tree burlap leaves that I added stenciled fabric pieces to. The stencil was from Dollar Tree as well as the two autumn leaf garlands that I added to the Hobby Lobby greenery garland at the top of the mirror. For continuity and cohesion, I used the same greenery garland on the buffet top along with some small Dollar Tree pumpkins scattered about. I also gathered up some brown maple leaves from my yard to tuck in here and there. And plus, I used some fall colored leaves from a thrifted pick that I cut apart to add just small touches of color here and there. The small corn cobs that you're seeing there on the front of the buffet are also from Dollar Tree. The pine cones were thrifted as well as the angel statue several years ago. The large off-white pumpkin on the right was made by yours truly a few days ago. And here's the garland and banner at the top of the mirror before we go in for a closer look on everything. Alright friends, now let's take a look at my dress form that was gifted to me last year by my sweet friend Sandy. I named her Fifi LaRue and I just want to show you all how I decked her out for fall to give her an autumn garden look. 
I didn't go out and purchase anything except for the crinoline slip that she's wearing at a thrift store for a dollar. That's it. I had everything else on hand. And of course, you all know that I'm a little extra and I never leave well enough alone. So I added my antique mustard colored silk parasol to Fifi to give her the finished look. Alright friends, let's take a moment and switch gears back to Thrifted Treasures. I found this huge 6 foot tall by 24 inches wide vintage iron bird cage at a local thrift store and saw past the dirt and grime because I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. They were asking $100 for it but told me to make an offer and I did at a much lower price and they accepted. So it came home with me, got a good scrubbing and a new paint job. Then of course the first thing I added was my vintage chandelier and then some well-appointed French touches to complete it. What do you all think? Here's another different look where I've displayed one of my pillows, some chickens, and other things inside the birdcage. And this birdcage makes a great display piece, doesn't it? Oh, and by the way, you all, I'll be getting a booth in an antique store hopefully soon. I'm on a waiting list at two different places, so fingers crossed that'll happen soon. Plus, I'm going to have my own market event at my home here in October called the Prairie Rose Cottage Market. Lots of new and exciting things coming, so stay tuned. This gorgeous huge picture was at the same thrift shop where I purchased the birdcage just on a different day and a couple weeks later. I loved the ornate frame, but not the Monet print so much. So they were asking $50 for it, and I said, how about a lower price? And they gave it to me for a much better price. I tried to save the print in the fabulous matting, but when I took it out, it didn't come out so great, which was sad, but that's what happens sometimes, no matter how careful you are. And here's a closer look at the frame. It's so pretty, and believe it or not, I am going to paint it. I'm just not sure what I'm gonna do exactly yet. There's also one of my handmade hang tags on the corner of the frame that you see there which i'll be using for price tags on all my merchandise they add such a nice touch and presentation don't they
what I'm showing you here is one of my handmade topiaries in a custom pot that I also did which I will have in my line of merchandise for sale. I also created a coordinating hang tag for it that you're seeing there on it and I just love how they look together. Okay, friends, this is my last share before I close out this video. Thank you for being so patient. I purchased this large, gorgeous cow painting at Eclectic Echo in Duncan, which is a home decor and upscale consignment store. I just love this painting, and it's going in my breakfast nook, which I'll show you very soon in my next video, so stay tuned for that. All right, my lovelies, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for spending time with me, and I hope you enjoyed it, as well as maybe found a little inspiration for decorating your home. I'll be back next week, so until then, you all take care. Bye-bye, friends.